Good, cool morning, and hello, explorers, and welcome back to another vlog. So, I just finished editing uh, yesterday's video that you just saw in the same day. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to continue on and head up to Cabot's Creek Recreation Area. I'm just going to be chilling down there for the rest of this evening. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's video, I checked out this place called Dismal Falls. It's pretty hidden back here at Magical. It's just down there on that ridge line. If you go around this little curve here, there's the actual trailhead over there. There's someone parked over there right now. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was pretty cool and that video was kind of a handful, like every other video, but that was my day. I keep things real on this channel. <laughs> and yeah, you, yeah, if you're wondering what I live in, I live in this 2006 Chevy Express 2500 standard gas cargo van that I converted to living space all by myself in a matter of two days, <laughs> which is awesome. Here's what the back looked like. As you can see, it's pretty simple. There's my bed and everything. It looks super nice. There's my Save Humanity billboard little pictures right there that you can see on the outside of my back windows. Here's the one on my front windshield. And there's the one down here in the dash that reflects up in my dash cam footage when you see it and the beta roll footage while I drive. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> but anyway, if you wanna check out more about me and what I do in my van life adventure, then you can just watch the rest of my videos or whatever, or check out my uh, van conversion video linked at the end screen of every one of my videos, or you can just scroll back to my channel. It's not hard to find, or watch my channel trailer if you're interested. So, I guess I'm just gonna head up the road, and please hit that subscribe button and come along for the ride, because it's gonna be a lot of fun up here, dude. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna pass by the turn of where it goes into Burke's Garden. If you don't know, I actually went there before, Back in my journey to van life, I have 117 videos on that playlist. <laughs> so, pretty sure my van is warmed up. Just gonna go ahead and roll on out of this back road and hit the road now, buddy. Most likely you probably can't hear that, but it's super freaking windy out there. So, <laughs> that's why I'm not uh, talking to you outside. But look at this. This place is cool, man. It's absolutely ginormous. <laughs> Dude, like, there's all kinds of stuff here. Obviously your standard stuff, but look at this, man. This is amazing. There's a ginormous freaking hill there. You can walk all the way up to get to another section of this park. And it's a gravel little parking area up there. I decided to come down here to this section because it's closer to the lake. And look at that, there's already two other trucks here and they're just fishing and just chilling, enjoying the day. Enjoying their life here on this beautiful planet Earth. <laughs> but look at that, there's a little picnic shelter over there. There's a little parking sign and you can't drive up there. I'm not too sure what's up there. Maybe I'll walk up there, maybe I won't, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. There's another little driveway going up that way somewhere. And there's the playground, the porta potty, and yeah, all your standard stuff. This place is super nice. It was free to park here. And yeah, <laughs> I had a really fun drive passing through uh, the town of Bastine. And the internet, uh, internet, <laughs> the interstate, <laughs> the interstate down there. That was pretty crazy, dude. <laughs> Probably gonna climb back here later on tonight, most likely here, and uh, eat some beefaroni that I have back there in my uh, box of food. And yeah, everything stays pretty secure back here, buddy. Oh my goodness, this place is awesome. <laughs> So, just gonna hop out real quick and just record some footage. And yeah, that's a nice place. <laughs> Look at that thing up there. There's some kind of barn way up there in the hill. <laughs> explorers look at this i just made it to the top of this hill <laughs> and i was slipping on a, mud, a little bit 
down there. Check this out. Look in my van. It is extremely small from all the way up here. <laughs> How funny is that? But yeah, look. There's 10 picnic tables up here underneath this green tin roof. <laughs> How awesome is that? And got your standard uh, charcoal grills up here. There's a solar panel with, I guess that's the battery in that big white box. <laughs> This sign over here says nothing. It's not even a sign. Just the electrical box. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> not too sure what all this is up here. Looks like it's just hookups. I guess you could uh, park here if you wanted to and pay for the night. I don't know how much it is. <laughs> but yeah, there's the front of this place. Looks like there's a cabin with another building. Not too sure what's in it. There's some other buildings in the back. And then the road just goes all the way out that way, leading out. Here's all of the uh, evergreen trees with the field over all the way over that side. And there's the road leading all the way down to all of that stuff. <laughs> How cool is that? Looks like it's just a little uh, boat launch thing or something. And yeah, I'm just chilling. Way up here at the top of this place. With this lonely little tree at the top. <laughs> It's freaking awesome, buddy. Hope you enjoyed all that scenery. Please give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. That bridge down there is super cool with a little creek running through it. <laughs> it looks like that thing is some kind of like Wi-Fi signal booster thing of some sort. <laughs> but this, they have like outlets all over the place. And guess what? This place reminds me of Glenwood Recreational Park. Way up there, uh, I forgot the name of the town, but it's north of Bluefield, West Virginia. <laughs> from episode 2 of my West Virginia cycle ride from July of 2020. It has like over 200 views now. <laughs> For those of you who watched it, uh, thank you. That was pretty awesome. It's quite the experience <laughs> riding my e-bike that doesn't work anymore now. <laughs> All the way through West Virginia and into Pennsylvania. Camping in my tent. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun though. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed that track trip a few years ago. But it's so much better living in my van now. <laughs> so much more convenient even though the thing sounds a bit weird but yeah there's my van again <laughs> it's freaking hilarious dude oh yeah look look at that over there you can kind of see what's over there a little bit better now now that i'm at the top of the hill and there's the playground it looks like there's some sand <laughs> don't really think i have anything else going on today i guess i'm just gonna relax up here for the rest of the day and just chill like always <laughs> And then I'll probably end up wrapping up my video a bit later. So keep watching if I find anything more interesting down here. But yeah, look at this, man. I have no words for this. <laughs> the only word I have for this video is cool. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I have no words. Like, you just can't put this into words. I feel like I'm on top of the freaking world right now. What an adventure, man. There's literally still flakes of snow up here. <laughs> There's all kinds of pine needles and stuff on the ground. I'm just walking down here, just chilling in the shade. I don't know why I'm in the shade. It's super freaking cold today. But not too cold. But look at this. This is what I was zoomed into uh, from up there. Just looks like the rest of the park. There's a shed as well. Look at that. It's a little shed just chilling. It looks like there's barrels over there painted red, white, and blue. Yep, cool. I like how they, uh, you know, paint barrels and people put flags up and stuff like that to remind people that you are still in America. <laughs> the land of the free. Let's hope we can actually keep it that way. This is nuts, man. Like, I'm literally out here in the middle of the freaking nowhere. <laughs> All right, now, that's about it for my activism stuff. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was kind of long. So, I'm just going to eat some beefaroni, like I mentioned earlier, and just relax. And yeah, I guess I don't have anything else to say. I'm just going to go park over there in that park and ride in the town. And I think that's pretty much it. So, like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.
Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure. God damn! <laughs> this stupid bearing! They're like, what the hell is even going on up in there? What's going on like, what the there? hell is going on under there? You went up in my dream where I was high fiving Big Diesel! <laughs> Remember that, you mama joke? <laughs> going on in there? My bearings cost $300! <laughs> My bearings cost three million dollars. My bearings cost five septillion, billion, trillion, quadrillion, fucktillion, reptilian, Tyrannosaurus Rex billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, dude. I crack myself up. <laughs> no, seriously, like for real. I have no idea how much a new bearing costs. Whatever the heck is going on in my engine, how am I supposed to freaking know? Like always, I can't see because the sun is blinding me and there's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh my god, I cracked myself up. There goes a deer. There goes a deer. That was hilarious, dude. I still remember making that video. Check that out right there. That's insane, dude. It's so freaking majestic. Harry, Peary. Repair service. <laughs> oh, Lord, man. This thing sounds like crap. Anyway, there's the good old cell phone tower right there. Looks like I can, I can actually upload this video tonight. So, without further ado, I guess that pretty much wraps up this video. This is into my blooper clip and I can't see so I don't want to die for not seeing so I'm gonna cut this here goodbye